What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the anime Banished from the Heroes Party. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Banished from the Heroes Party, episode 5. Now, we did see in other episodes that uh, one of the party members in the Heroes Party is out to go get Gideon Red. And then in the previous episode, they mentioned about elves with the sauna and such, which I'm wondering if they're going to introduce elves. And from what I saw in the thumbnail, the thumbnail on Funimation, it's showing Gideon with an elf and it looks like the elf that was in his party so from the thumbnail it looks like a flashback but i'm wondering if they're going to show her in the present time too but we'll find out Med oh yeah the medicine cookies kind of forgot about that oh who are these people that look like they kind of shake them down I am going to be a senior official of the Adventures Guild. Is it true Rit is living here? Was the title of this the Amber Bracelet? Isn't that the opening? They're like, we need Rit the Adventurer. He's like, I know her well. She don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Why does he have all kinds of people behind him? You can tell some of them look like they're like corporate like people. They have like that smiling face, that customer service face. But inside, they're like. <laughs> I like Ritz's attitude. Make it snappy. I really do need you. He knows she likes that. He Eve's Guild. What is that? An elven coin. Would you sever all ties with Rit if I gave you this? Uh, excuse you, Rit's the one who came onto him. Fifty para a night kind? Rit is priceless! Oh my goodness. What a true man. Huh. Wow, Rit is on in demand. Lifetime employment at Red's shop. Oh. <laughs> You tell him like it is, Rit. You know, I'm definitely going to mix up their names later on. If I haven't already. Lifetime contract, a.k.a. marriage. I like that. Come here, Rit. That was a cute hand thingy. 
Look how she positioned her hand. Put a ring on it, boy. I bet it's not a ring. Down payment on your lifetime employment. It's the amber bracelet. He's like, you're going to get this first and you're going to get a matching ring. What's your favorite gemstone? <laughs> oh, this is so endearing. Loves it, loves it. Oh. Desperate to get rid adventuring again. Uh huh. Thieves go doesn't want Rit to retire either. Is that because she's a thief class? Or that's her blessing, whatever. What is he from? Like, wh who are you associated with? The situation is manageable if she's in the guild. What's your business, though? What what are you? What's her her weakness is probably red. Oh, you see that sweat drop on that guy? He's like, okay, why am I here then? Yeah, what's in it for him? What can you give him? Easy job hauling cargo. Cargo might contain money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, money's in it for him. I would, that's an indirect way of saying I'll pay you. Kind of reminds me how like genies have to be careful what they say or something like that. Or vice versa. You know what I mean. You're not um, called out to honor your words. Going through the bewitching woods. Why is it called bewitching woods? I bet the elf is there. Village at the end of the woods. Oh, hey! Oh, it's the chick. It's the elf from the party, right? He is so affectionate. Finger of the tree. That is perfect for someone in the bewitching woods. I see the other party members. Mm -hmm. You trust her a lot. Trust your friend. She got friend zoned, yo. Theodora and Janet. Where's the other dude? Aries. I feel bad. I forgot his name. Mercenaries hired.
Why did one of the mercenaries look like um that guy from the Thieves Guild? And I'm not discriminating characters who are bald in this show, okay? I looked at the details of his face too. Oh, is this where Rit realizes her feelings for Red through jealousy? Ooh, Suntere! Ho 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 ho! Oh, 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 oh! There's a river ahead. And bathing. Oh, bonding moment. Okay, either she's taking her to take a bath to either be friends with her or to. Have a talk with her, be like, Gideon's mine. For some reason, Rudy didn't want to take a bath. You can tell Gideon has always frustrated Aries. <laughs> Just jump in, jump in. There you go, there you go. Oh, around the abdomen is the hardest, the pelvis, abdomen area. It's always the hardest for me to go through in the water. Aww, no threat, no rivalry. Get angry when embarrassed. You need to work on that. Oh, so that's where Rick got the advice from. Show your affection in a playful manner. <gasps> she uh, get all that advice from her. But you're so playful. So are you in love with someone? Oh, she once loved a human. She friends on Gideon for her protection. She is carrying Rit with Gideon. She's been playing matchmaker ever since then, huh? What a good friend. Oh, his abilities go far beyond his blessing and skills. She's like a big sister. She thought they had to change the dependence on him. It didn't have to change. It was going to change anyway because they surpassed him, as Aries said. It's sort of like when... Sort of outgrow a parent or a teacher. It's like, okay, I'll go on my own, do my own thing, gain experience through the adventures and such. Gideon can lean on you when he's having a tough time. Ah, so this is a different talk. It was a bonding talk, but it was also a 
let big sister give you advice. That was a positive talk. Oh, mercenaries. And those are the same creatures that we saw in the present time with that guy from the Thieves Guild was talking to. So it's sort of like they're going parallel from the past and present. Oh, Ruthie's like, trust my brother. My brother is the best. I don't need your consent to give orders to my party members. She's like, back off, B. <laughs> back off. This is my brother, my party. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what she meant. <laughs> Reinforcement? Who is that? Wow, she is invoking the help of different deities, huh? Oh. Ruti told Rit to fall back. Oh. Ruti looks like she's very... She has like a tunnel vision. Like, she's... There on the mission, she's there to protect. She's there to defeat. Wow. What did Rudy mean, like, never again? Uh, she felt like she couldn't, she shouldn't come between Rudy and Gideon. So she was waiting until they separated. Oh, girl, your patience paid off. It was fate, girl. You were meant to link up. Mmm, he, oh, he was, the, he was a mercenary. He's the same guy. He was the same guy. So I wasn't discriminating bald characters. <laughs> and what? So what if she's a princess? What you gonna do about it? Yeah, it's not like she's trying to hide it. I can be a sweetheart like Red? Excuse you. Aren't you the one who betrayed them in Lagavera? Why should she do one or the other? It should have been settled when she left. Boy, she's been waiting for Red. You cannot stop her. This is what she wants. She wants it, she gets it. Mm-hmm. Can't stop her. Mm -mm. A 
Oh, so cute. Doesn't need to sleep, but the nights are long and boring. Oh, it was better when her brother was here. Yeah, why? Wait! Oh, you're making up lies. You tried to stop him. Boy, keep with the story. Not a very good story fabricer. Help you not. It looks like he wants to mono monopolize her. Ugh! Creepy me out, yo! <gasps> oh! Damn. Aries, he is mad at you. She killed you! You! Holy cow! Um, I can totally see rooting going ballistic, like snapping at whoever got her upset, like the wrong person got her upset at the wrong time and she would beat them up pulverize them until they're almost dead and then healing them and repeating the cycle over and over again i can totally see that happening now oh my gosh oh that was that almost every episode has been doing that right like at the end of the episode they show a scene that shocks you and you're like oh my gosh what's the next episode going to be about and it does nothing. Like, the next episode is not related to the ending of the scene from the last episode at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is episode five. I'm thinking that the first half of the season, the first six episodes, are going to build up Red's life. And they're going to show the flashbacks. And then the other half of the season is going to show um, them trying to bring Gideon back to the party. That's what it, that's what I'm predicting. That's what it seems like. It seems like they're building this up for something else. <clears throat> Laying the foundation. Oh, okay. This, this is getting good. <laughs> what do you think about this episode? What do you think of the show so far? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash the hero superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a Superfina channel reacting to Banished from the Heroes Party, episode 5. Hope you guys like this video like I did. Well, I liked the episode. So I hope you guys like the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.